The CHADS-2 and the CHADS-2 VAST scores have been well validated, as we all know, for patients with atrial fibrillation and are particularly useful in predicting those patients at higher risk for stroke. They've also been used to try and predict hemorrhagic outcomes. Now in JAK, researchers raised the question whether or not those scores are actually what we should use. They compared patients with atrial fibrillation and tried to figure out whether or not the HASBLED score would not be a better predictor of hemorrhagic outcomes compared to the CHADS-2 and CHADS-2 VAST scores. And it turns out that two important issues came out. First of all, it turns out that hemorrhagic issues are not zero. They're about 3% over a number of years and about one third of those are intracranial hemorrhage. So this is not an unimportant issue. The second and take home message here is that the has bled score is the winner. It clearly was better associated with hemorrhagic outcomes than the CHADS-2 and the CHADS-2 VAST scores. You might wanna to continue to use the old favorite, the CHADS-2 and the CHADS-2 VAST scores, but you're not gonna do as well unless you use the HASBLED score to try and figure out those patients that will have a higher risk of hemorrhagic outcome in patients with atrial fibrillation and in coagulation. For CardioSource, I'm Peter Block. <laughs>